Salam and good evening, worthy friends. Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Like a case on Facebook, we are in World Edition. We are in the Sahara region, the first case, case number seven, murder by proxy. Let's unlock Crossing the Desert. Hey Ace, good work on finding Adam Hassan's killer. It's a shame you had to arrest Christy Mathis, but murder is murder. Well, now with one killer jailed, you can concentrate on finding the Chiefs. They're still out there. Don't worry, Ingrid. Ace and I will bring them to justice. Ace, you must investigate all leads possible. I suggest you start by interrogating Christy. She heard about the Chief's murder and copied it, but that doesn't explain how she got the same kind of dart. Well, excuse me, Ace. I hope you don't mind me interrupting. I know you're busy, but I'd like to request we investigate one of your suspects further. Jonah Karam, psychological profile, caught my attention negatively. I think we need to keep a close eye on him. I'd like to interrogate him. Very well, it's time to get to work. We're counting on you, Ace. Find the Chief's killer. Oh, man. Oh, she's crying. Oh, you're back for more senior trooper ace? It was difficult enough the first time. What more could you want? Miss Mathis, we need to know where you obtained the blow darts. They're not that easy to find, unless you know where to look. Honestly, they just appeared. I came home from class one afternoon and found a package in my bag. I opened it and found a pipe and a blow dart inside. I didn't have them when I left campus, and all I could think is that they were dropped in my bag while I was at the soup shopping. You want us to believe that they just appeared in your bag? Like that? What do I have to gain from lying, Senior Trooper Ace? I'm already in jail. There's a note inside the package. It said, what kills a chief kills an axe, and no one would be the wiser. Unfortunately, I threw it out. You've got no proof of any of this? Well, Ace, our best bet is to search the souk again. Let's go. Man. What's up, Jonah? Mr. Karam, we're keeping you as a suspect in our large investigation due to your violent history and questionable connections. How does that make you feel? Well, you're just doing your job. Doesn't it upset you to be scrutinized and distrusted by authoritative figures? I was in the military. I showered in scrutiny and distrust. Well, yeah, and you left. Shows that you do have a problem with it. I don't know what you're trying to get at, lady, but if you want to know something, why don't you just ask? Fine. Why are you here still here in the Middle East, Mr. Karam, if your time in the military is over? I'm just here to eat, drink, and enjoy the architecture. Now, if you're done, I've got to get back to my relaxation time. Hey, so I apologize for failing Jonah's interrogation. He's very difficult to read. But interesting you mentioned liking the architecture here. He doesn't strike me as the type. Could he be implying something? You're right, Ace. The Riyadh you visited earlier is quite the architectural splendor. Maybe that's what Jonah was referring to. If you want to go to investigate again, I'll go with you. I have no problem with you going with me. None whatsoever. Let's go to the souk first. It's a very dapper outfit. It matches the Bastet Hound. Nice job, but... Colored pencils, shoes, corn, spice crate, compass, caterpillar, bone, Arabic letter, fez hat, tagine disc, cheese, and spider web. Boom. Boom, boom. Hey, so you inspected the, this entire suit and all you found was a spice crate? Well, there are at least 100 spice vendors here. But you are right, when you've got a hunch, it's best to run with it. Let's look inside. Sounds good. Oh, if you guys are watching this, I know that you guys are some of my hardcore fans that watch all of my stuff. So I want to let you guys know that we are working towards, I'm working with uh, Jonathan, who's actually on one of my cases uh, in Pacific Bay. And we're working on a website redesign uh, for pitchingace88.com and it's looking pretty cool. It'll be a way for you guys to kind of see all of my videos all in one place, uh, instead of just going to YouTube if you guys need to get to specific places. And the cool thing about that, as we find the answering machine, is that um, you, know, you guys can share it via your, um, all of your groups and on your pages. If, you're, if ever anyone's looking for a specific thing, it'll be much easier to find. So I think that's going to be something that's going to be very valuable for everyone. Um, so he's doing a really good job. I've seen it. It's not ready to go yet, but it's looking pretty good. 
and I may be asking other people to uh, for their expertise in specific aspects of uh, you know working on a website. Hey, so you weren't exaggerating. This place is indeed elegant for a professor. Seems suspicious to me. You found an answering machine. I didn't know they were still used anywhere outside of Siberia. But you'll have to unlock it to see if it's of any use. Don't worry, Maria. I got skills. I got skills. I've been doing the cases for over two years now. Maybe even three. I can't remember. It might even be three years I've been doing criminal case. I know it's at least two. Two full years. Intr oh, snap. Hey, Ace, hey, so I was right to let you search through the spice crate at the souk. You found another clue, and not just any clue. It's a package of poison darts and pipes. Could these be the same type of darts that were used on the chief and Adam? They have an orange feathered tail, so they must be. Yeah, a good dusting kit might give us an address on this package. I'll get your dusting kit ready. For sure, man. Let's see what this code is. It's gotta be a U. Nope. U six eggs. Yep. Yep. Not too shabby. Under ten seconds, and I'm good. Well, hey, hey, so well done unlocking this answering machine so quickly. Perhaps we can take this back to my office and analyze it there. No problem. Let's go. Oh, nine hours. That's not too shabby. Oh wow, lots of fingerprints. Scratching the package of darts we found on the spice crate it didn't reveal an address, but it did give us some fingerprints. Hey, so let's get these prints over to Elliot. Hurry, hurry. All right, man, so in nine hours, we're gonna come back and hopefully give us a little bit more details. I'm pitching against 88, au revoir. Salam and good evening. Worthy friends, we're back. Hey, Ace, I can't believe we found an entire package of poison darts in a spice crate. That's kind of cool. We don't have much time to chit-chat, Elliot. Can you tell us who these fingerprints belong to? Well, I don't call we do chit-chatting, Archer. And yeah, I can tell you about these fingerprints. Fingerprints belong to a man named Rafid Habadi. His file says he's a spice vendor at the souk. I've got a stall number for you. Someone else to drag into this investigation? Guess we can add spice vendor to our list of suspects. Let's go talk to this Rafid guy, Ace. That is awesome. I am a huge fan of them adding more people in the additional investigation, kind of wrap everything up. Hey Ace, there's a message on the answering machine we found at the Riyadh. It's actually a conversation between Omar and Jonah. Jonah was leaving a message, but Omar picked up halfway through, so their conversation was recorded, fortunately for us. The tone of it is argumentative and cold. Jonah was trying to obtain something from Omar, but Omar wasn't acquiescing. Jonah's demeanor was threatening, but that's not unusual given his profile. Interestingly enough, Omar didn't seem the least bit phased by it, proof he's no stranger to menace. In Ace, you're correct again. A brief conversation with Mr. Bahir would be very wise indeed. Yep, sounds good to me. Let's do this. Rafid Habadi, I'm Agent Jack Archer and the Senior Trooper Ace. We're from the Bureau. We need to know why you've been illegally trafficking poison darts to your customers. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a humble spice seller. Please have some food. Cut the act, Mr. Habadi. We found your fingerprints all over a package of poison darts. Well, I have a family to protect. If they were to find out, they would have us all killed. Who's they, Mr. Habadi? Are you working for somebody? The sword. I've never met them. I just hold the packages until they come for them. The sword. Well, it sounds like one sharp code name, and all you do is hold their poison dart packages? Well, normally, yes, but recently they paid me to drop a dart in the bag of an American girl. And I have a family to provide for. Hey, Ace, this is big news. We've got the code name to the Chief's Killer. Please, you mustn't tell anyone I've talked. Take this clothing, it's a gift. You say nothing, yes? Ooh, a Moroccan tunic, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, so in chapter three, you guys are getting actually really close to 500 likes. So that means the next chapter, you might, you guys might be getting a picture of Baby Ace. So that'll be pretty cool. Welcome back, Senior Trooper Ace. I see that you're not with the gentleman agent. I must confess, your new partner is far more attractive. 
Mr. Bear here, flattery will get you far, but not with me. We're here to discuss a recent conversation you had with Yona, Jonah Karam. Ah, yes, Mr. Karam. We briefly spoke a few days ago. Nothing of interest, I'm afraid. Oh, really? Well, that's not what your answering machine told us. The conversation you had was very heated. Well, there is talk of a rebellion between feuding tribes. Mr. Karam knows I have ties to certain tribal leaders and wanted me to make some introductions. I don't appreciate his methods, and I certainly don't trust ex-military, so I refused. Needless to say, he was quite angry. Oh, is that all, Mr. Bahir? I have the feeling you have more to say, but you're holding back. You know you can trust in your trooper, Ace and I. Although she's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, of course I can. I don't know how much, much more other than Jonah was at the docks when we last spoke. Maybe you should investigate there. Eh, but enough with that. It's lunchtime. I prefer to dine than talk. Ace, allow me to prepare you some of my famous hamburgers. They're exquisite. I love that they have hamburgers even out here. The conversation with Omar didn't give us much, except for the fact that Jonah was at the docks when they last spoke. I agree, Ace. We must return to the docks for further investigation. Interesting. Well, usually I would imagine that we would have um, some more stuff to do, but we're getting close to the end with the percentage, so I guess we'll see what we find here. Decorated tile. That's not a decorated tile, that's a torn photo. Let's go to sandbag. Moroccan flag is up here. Vaz, decorated tile, I don't know where that is. I don't think I've ever saw a decorated tile. Oh, this one, duh. I never found one, that was never an option for us, but let's see, suitcase, crane, dates, and newspapers up here. Eh, not my best work. Hey Ace, you were inspired to return to the docks and you found another clue. Could Jonah have taken this torn photo? We'll know more when you restore it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna have to wait another little bit, which is gonna be great. Uh-oh. Watch your back. That's not good. Well, Ace, the torn photo you restored is a surveillance photo. Adam is standing next to what looks like the limousine of the US president. We can't see who's inside, but the person is handing over an envelope of money in exchange for a file. There's also a message written on it. Watch your back. Why would Adam be making a secret deal with the president? And how is this linked to Jonah? It's all a bit murky. Good thinking, Ace. Maybe Ambassador Stern can clear things up. Interesting. Well, Senior Trooper Ace, I apologize for my behavior. You've spared us major political catastrophe. I'm impressed. And thanks, I'd like to offer you this reward money. Ambassador Stern, we can't accept monetary compensation. It'd be seen as a bribe. Speaking of, we found a photo of Adam exchanging secrets for money. Would you know anything about that? Oh, well, that photo was a warning. It's how I found out Adam's plan to steal my job. How'd you get this photo? Was it from Jonah Karam? I have many field operatives. Sometimes I hire them for special assignments, and Jonah's one of the best out there. Now, if you excuse me, Senior Trooper Ace, I'm taking my son to his mommy and me Arabic class. Don't forget your money, it's on my desk. Interesting. So where are we going now? Ace, you did good today. Let's go over our... Hey, Ace, look what I did. I mummified an orange. Bro, that's actually kind of strange even for you. Oh, gentlemen, act like the adults you're supposed to be. We've got our chief's murder to solve. Ingrid, we finally know who killed the chief. They're operating under the code name The Sword. The orange feathered poison dart is their MO. We just don't know why the sword would help Christy. The two murders seem unrelated, and yet we've got proof the sword gave the dart package to Christy. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I wasn't as successful. We know Jonah's trying to contact rebel tribes, but we don't really know why. Let me try once more. I know I can make him talk. Mr. Karam, Senior Trooper Ace and I know you're involved with the Rebels. It's time to talk. Fine. I've been investigating someone called the Sword. I've been trying to infiltrate Rebel camps to get more information. It was working until you came along. Just found the Sword knows you're on to them. They just fled into the desert. Yeah, and why should we trust you? Well, because it's the only lead you've got. Hey Ace, what should we do? You're right, this might be our only shot. Ace, we're heading to the desert. But um. Cool, cool, cool beans. 
So, that means that the next case will be in the desert. Again, looks like we will be um, doing probably a case a week now. So, next Thursday we will be able to see this. And we're going to here. You'll notice Jonah's here. So he has to get us here. And Ingrid, she's kind of crazy. I'm not, I mean, she's on it, but she's kind of crazy. But anyways, guys, I'm Pichini, it's idiot. I'll see you guys in the next case. Hopefully these, one of these videos gets 500 likes. I'll see you guys later. It's been Pichini, it's idiot. Over and out.